Good morning, everyone. It's a new week. The thunderstorms and tornadoes are gone for a while. And this is your opening comment for Monday, the 17th of July, video number 1832. Okay, so as has become the uh, case here, Monday has a bunch of biopharma news. We have, we'll start, an, a promising Alzheimer's drug at ABOS, that's Acumen Pharmaceuticals. Uh, the stock closed at $6.28 on Friday. The high this morning is 14 um, and uh, the last is 1260 and that's up $6.32 or right at 100%. Uh, we also have Bridge Bio with a uh, cardiomyopathy drug closed 18.22 this morning. 32.73 the high, 30 and a half, the last up about 12 and a half dollars or 67%. Uh, going the other way, APLS, Apellis, uh, stock closed 84 and a half this morning as low as 49.24 with a last of 57 down 28 or 33 percent. Economic news, we had um, China, which I'm not sure whether they have just changed the way that they uh, look at things, but instead of having a um, month to month, I guess uh, they put out a quarterly number and it was uh, 8.8, uh, pardon me, it was 0.8 gain on GDP, much lighter than expected, um, and that has hurt everything across the board. I'll get to that in a second. We have Asia and Europe both down, and uh, I haven't seen it, but I'm assuming that the uh, Empire State ISM was pretty much a non-event because it's not being printed anywhere and it should have come out 15 minutes ago and I haven't heard anything on CNBC either. Um, let's see what else we have. Oh, we have the FTC being handed another defeat. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals rejected the FTC appeal to uh, block the Microsoft Activision deal. And uh, Activision is trading 93.65. That's up 358. Um, the, the deal there is 95. The stock action says that's exactly where it's going to be. Uh, Tesla, uh, first Cybertruck rolling off the uh, production line. Um, it's two years late, but we'll see what happens here. The stock is up five and a half or two percent at 286.88. Um, Morgan Stanley downgraded to equal weight PepsiCo after their earnings last week, 186 down 221. Uh, UAL has a labor deal with the pilots, and that only includes a 40% pay rise. It's over four years, but 40% is 40%. Citigroup downgrades uh, AT&T, stocks down a quarter, 1.7. Uh, Goldman Sachs upgrades Chewy um, to buy from neutral. It's 40 up $2.01 or 5.3. Um, a bunch of the uh, uh, streaming companies uh, are getting pounded yet again uh, on the uh, writer and now actors strike. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk that uh, they're facing uh, some uh, 
pricing issues and the fact that they're not going to generate any new content right now uh, is also weighing on them. As far as the futures go, um, the low of the day was down about 120. Dow is now down 99. Um, the uh, NASDAQ was down about 18, now down about 8. And the S&P was down about 10, currently uh, down about 7.5. So that's come back a bit. Uh, those China numbers, oh, 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 those China numbers have depressed uh, everything except the grains here. Grains are a little higher again. Uh, oil and energy down on the possible lack of demand. Uh, you know, crude is uh, down about a dollar, heating oil down about three and a half cents, and, and gasoline is down two and a half cents. We're up slightly in the uh, a penny in the net gas. The gold is down, silver is down, uh, but not very much. The one that's down a chunk is the copper. Um, and we'll take a look at that. It's a really nice looking chart into an apex here. Um, but today, let's take a closer look. Yeah. It came straight down after the, all of these tops that have turned it back in the past, in the past six or eight months, uh, right around 390 or so. The high on Friday was uh, 395 and change, and it closed mid-range. So uh, it was, it's been down the entire time. So I'm assuming that that has more to do with China than anything else. Um, you know, they have been the big buyer in the copper over recent past. Uh, in the softs, we have uh, cotton up a little. We have coffee down three and a half dollars. Unfortunately, the sugar is down by 40 cents after a really nice day Friday. We'll see if how that pullback is. Um, as I said, the stock futures are, you know, coming back in. I don't know what it is in the Dow that's depressing it, but it is. We have no earnings today. Um, dollar down a little, uh, about a nickel, five and a half cents. That's after a two and a half percent decline last week. Um, Bitcoin and Ethereum, both were higher overnight, have turned back to the downside. And the bonds are sharply unchanged, up 132nd. All right, folks, be careful out there. I'll be back later.